What's up everybody? It's Mike. I got another video for you today. So, last time I broke out my MMP shield. I told you guys that I was going to do some upgrades and I was going to show you guys when I did the upgrades. Well, today I got something new in and I'm going to do an upgrade video. And I'm actually going to install it. So I'm going to install some night sights for this gun since this is my primary carry gun. So the first thing I want to do is, of course, we're going to safety check this gun. And because everyone knows this is my primary carry gun, it is loaded right now. So I'm going to clear it. As you can see. Nothing in the chamber, no magazine inside. It is clear. And I'm going to go ahead and disassemble it. Well, I've it. little this gun is brand freaking new so it's a little there we go all right and actually I can put all that to the side that's really all I need right there so let's get into these sights So, these are True Glow fiber optic sights. I got these on Amazon.com for I think it was 50 bucks. I'll put a link of that down in the description so you guys can find it. <coughs> so, the reason why I went with these, and you'll see everybody like, oh, well, you should have went with Triticon, or you should have went with this um, uh, manufacturer, you should have went with that one, or whatever, whatever. It's a fiber optic stroke, so it's super bright. Um, and the reason why I went with this wasn't just because of the price. I mean, I do like to save a buck, but mm, money isn't really that important to me. So it didn't really matter. I went with this because it had the contrasting red front sight and the green rear sights. Me, I hate, I hate these sights here. Those there. The three dot white sights, I hate them. I hate white sights, period. I understand why they put white sights on the gun because you're, you know, your eyes are attracted to light and movement, but I hate the white sights. And these aren't night sights, so you know they don't really serve a purpose um, for me. So I had to get some night sights. I don't like the night sights. The, I'm sorry, I don't like the white sights. So I like to have that red dot up front. Now, if you look at a couple of my other guns, I do have other three dot sights, um, but they have tritium in them. So they have that green in them. I really, 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 really love having that red in the front. So that's why I got these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to install these. Now, you might realize that I'm doing this on a desktop. You can probably see the keyboard. You might be able to see the speakers. Bam. So that's the rear. And that's the front. So, you know, you might notice that I'm doing it on a desktop. And you're like, how is he going to do this? He doesn't have a vice. He doesn't have this. He doesn't have that. Well, don't need a vice. I don't bang out my sights. I have a pusher tool that I get my sights out with. So bear with me for a second because I'm actually to the side of the camera and I gotta kind of finesse my way in so I could do it on cam and try to do it, you know, so you guys can see it being done. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get started here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna push out, we're gonna do the rear sights first. And the reason why we're gonna do the rear sights first is because the way that these sights, or that the, um, 
the way that the slide has to line up with my pusher because you have this right here I have to take out this little block down here in my pusher so I can fit the slide in there so you'll see that in a second so I'm gonna start with the easier one first and do the rear sights so here I go so I have to line this up you probably can't see it but I'm just putting it in the in the vise like that you see and then I have to line this up Is it lined up? Is it lined up? It's not lined up. So, that right there, it will be lined up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to take, I got everything lined up. So, I'm going to go and take this little Allen key here. unscrew this now there's a little set screw in here you unscrew the set screw and some of them you can just pull it out with it I pr I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to actually try to push it a little bit at least with the with the tool here so that's what I'll do Usually, when I'm doing uh, sights, I will go and I will put tape on this, but I didn't this time. It's kind of like a, a expedited process I'm doing right now. So, let's see. All right. get this because I need some torque a lot of people might be like man all these tools this is taking longer than if you had to do it with a uh, just by you know putting in a vice and slamming it out but I'd rather do it this way now got that down a little bit I'm gonna let that up a little bit Because trying to make sure that that's moving because this block right here is actually keeping it let's see did it move it any I did not So it didn't move it any. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to move this up like this, just a little bit. Hold it in place. And then push it down because it's getting held up by this little guy. Come on. It moved it a little bit. Let me come down a little bit. Wild, wild hustle man and please leave the stage Oops, sorry about that guys <laughs> had some uh 
some video queued up. Alright. I'm gonna take this side. Alright, so guys, I'm back in. So, <clears throat> I left off with uh, my MMP shield here. Then I was uh, swapping out the stock um, sights for night sights. So I got the night sights on. Now, this video was cut into two because there was some difficulties with the night sights. So if you ever try to uh, swap out sights on an MMP shield, you know what I'm talking about. Um, <coughs> for whatever reason, Smith & Wesson, um, when they put their um, stock sights in, uh, you know, they use a hydraulic press to get those things in there. So it's hell getting them out. So even though all my sights, I don't use um, brass punches and hammers, I always use uh, a tool. So this is a sight tool. Um, so you can swap out um, iron sights on pistols. Um, this tool right here has seen, I've used this tool on all my handguns. So it's seen Taurus, it's seen Sig, it's seen Glock, you know, everything. Um, never had a problem in until now. But I was still able to get the uh, stock sights out with this right here and to get the, uh, the night sights in. So this did come in handy. I'll go through how I got it out. Um, I had to do a little bit of finagling with that, but um, it's all good. So here are the sights. So if you see my shield, first off, I want to say that there's a little bit of mooring. I have a little bit of mooring on, on, my, on my shield here on the slide. That side, this side. Um, it's just a little bit. It's because... I did not, um, I usually put down um, painter's tape or something like that to um, keep, you know, the contact points from actually, you know, contacting and rubbing uh, because you need so much, there's so much force and leverage that's involved in getting these, these sights off of the shield um, that you don't need with other guns that, you know, um, when I came into it, to do it I didn't put those things down because I don't um, I think I put painters tape on one um, of my guns in the past when I used this tool so uh, I said you know what I don't need it and then it was a lot more um, force and pressure that I needed so it did rub a little bit but it's fine I didn't um, touch these up with anything because I kind of like my guns with a little bit of marring on it um, it gives it character um, I might touch it up a little later this gun I actually might uh, get this gun seracoded anyway so um, so it really doesn't matter right now but yeah um, there is a little bit of Mari <clears throat> now what I'll do is let me clear this because if you know me then you know that this is the gun that I carry every single solitary day um, yeah recently I could carry something else but this is the gun I'm usually carrying, so gun's clear. So um, I got red in the front, green in the back. I hate three dot white sights. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. So I do not have three dot white sights on any of my guns. None, none of them. So this is what I like. Um, on one of my other guns, um, I want to say one of my Glocks, I actually have a uh, red in the back, green in the front. But uh, this, I have the green in the back, red in the front. And I like that because I'm so used to uh, shooting my uh, my Glock 19 it has a uh, has a uh, has a red dot on it. it has a um, vortex venom. So I uh, I like shooting that. 
So that red dot pretty much, you know, stands in for that. And I do have a red dot on here, as you can see, right there in the middle, middle of the D. Um, just a little laser. Um, it is zeroed and everything. Like I mean, it wasn't really much to go in into it. You know, three inch barrel. It's an under barrel. It's not really that much. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the sights. These are True Glow night sights um, for the MMP shield. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I wanted to do a, a fully install video, but I wasn't able to do that. Um, but uh, I hope you guys out. If you guys, you know, see these and you guys want to grab these up, um, I paid fifty-two dollars for them. Um, I got them on Amazon. They're fiber optic. Fiber optic, of course. Here we go. I'll show you guys. Let's get that in. In focus there. So you guys can see it. Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah, you guys aren't gonna be able to see that, but that's the uh <sighs> give me one second. Get that in focus for you guys. There you go. So you see it. Bada boom, bada bang. True glow. Alright. But anyway. <sighs> those are the sights. Um, if you guys got any other questions or anything, leave me a comment. <clears throat> I'll probably shoot you another video. Oh, wait. That's right. I was supposed to show you guys how I had to go through the process to get these off. So I'll do that real quick. So I told you guys that <clears throat> I use this tool. This block keeps coming out. I use this tool right here. Um, I bought this tool on Amazon years ago. Probably about three or four years ago now. Um, and I've used it ever since on guns. So, basically what I did was I took a socket wrench like this here and <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys or well, I'm going to tell you guys how much different it is for an MMP shield than it is any other gun. So any other gun, I could just use like a little, a little small wrench or pliers or something to take this nut and to turn this nut. Because basically what this nut does right here Turn this nut so your slide goes in here. Um, this block here is there to hold the slide in. So the slide's right in here. And then I take like a, a wrench or pliers or something and I just turn this. So I'm turning this, I'm turning this, I'm turning this. And then this block right here with the notch right there, that pushes the side out. All right? So with a Glock, with your rear sight, you need this. You obviously you don't need it for your front sight, but for your rear sight, you need this. With SIGs, you need it for your front and your rear sight. But it's super easy. It just takes just a little more force um, than this right here, than me just doing it with my fingers. Just a little bit more. Well, with the MMP shield, I actually needed this and some. So I would have taken this, and I was gonna take a, uh, <laughs> I was gonna take a, a, a torque wrench. But I didn't take the torque, I didn't do it with a torque wrench because I didn't want to mess up my torque wrench. And I really didn't, you know, uh, I didn't have a, a vise. So I could, you know, hold it in the vise. Like if I had a vise, I could take this and put this in a vise. And then I could, you know, torque it down or whatever, like I would for like an AR um, barrel. But, uh, barrel nut. But uh, I didn't, I didn't have a vise to put it in, so I didn't do that. So basically what I did was I applied pressure to where this would, I, as far as I can get it to go with the contact with the, uh, with the uh, front or rear sight. And <clears throat> when I couldn't go anymore, couldn't go anymore, I just left it there. I left it there and then I came back later. I let off pressure of it, went back with the pressure until I couldn't go anymore. 
and I mean it would inch out like centimeters at a time centimeters at a time centimeters and I, I kept doing that backing out going back to it until I couldn't go anymore leave it alone for a little bit come back back it out go back and it kept inching out kept inching out and then sooner or later I was able to get it to inch all the way out that was the rear sight the front sight I just put constant pressure on it and I was able to get that front sight out um, a lot easier than the rear sight um, but if you know anything about MMP shields then you know for obvious reasons the front came out a lot easier than the rear sight did but so for anybody out there that's going to be swap swapping out these sights um, just know that um, now there's people that's probably going to watch this video and say oh you should just use a brass punch you know in a vise and you know bang that thing out well so to tell you that I actually did try that at one point um, but it just was not going the way I needed it to go so I put it back in here and I was able to get it here the rest of the way um, yeah I know I said I don't have advice yeah I, I, I got it um, I actually went out and bought one for that you know uh, one purpose and it did not work so right before I actually thought about using the torque wrench to do it after I had the vise then uh, I was able to get it inch it out with this and I just got it I just did it doing <clears throat> excuse me I just got it the rest of the way with this tool here which I actually liked it better doing it with this tool here because now I can say that this tool will work on any handgun there is even though that's the guarantee that the company made <clears throat> uh, when I bought it I don't know what I can't remember what company this is from um like there's no branding on it or anything it's just like someone pretty much made this like you can make this at home like seriously look at it look at it you can really make this at home so somebody out there probably is going to get rich off of this um design right here because they're probably just going to get together they're going to see this video get together and just start making these so uh just uh if you guys do do that just uh go ahead and pass me my credit or whatever <laughs> all right uh that's it for me man i'm out of here guys uh, take care.